Hey guys, so I thought I would do a quick vlog tonight because I haven't vlogged since after Fanime and because Stockton Con and Zack Anime are coming up. So I thought I would just talk about those and tell you my plans for them and everything. So Stockton Con is this weekend and I can't believe it came here so quickly because it feels like it was just last year, but now it's coming up again. So it's this weekend. And for Saturday, tomorrow, I'm going to be Tifa from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. And then Sunday, I'm going to be San from Princess Mononoke. Tomorrow, I'm wearing Tifa because her English voice actor, Rachel Lee Cook, is going to be there this weekend. And so that's why I'm wearing Tifa, and I'm excited to see her. I likely won't be getting her autograph, though, because of the prices. But I will definitely at least say hi to her and everything and just maybe chat with her a bit which I think will be fun and I'm excited to meet her so yeah I doubt I can I doubt I can get pictures with her as well but I'm at least get to meet her so that's a good thing and then Sunday I'm going to be wearing San from Princess Mononoke and I've been wanting to cosplay her for a couple years but I just finally recently got the cosplay done um and I'm really excited to finally do this cosplay. I did do a little photo shoot of the cosplay a week ago, and it turned out really amazing. And I'm just so glad with those pictures. I posted one on my cosplay Instagram. I can link to that in the description below, so you can go follow it if you don't. And yeah, so I'm really excited for this weekend, and I can't wait to debut the, or not debut, but wear these cosplays. I did have to fix up Tifa a bit, but now the cosplay is where I want it to be, and it fits better now. I remember I did an unboxing of the costume, and if you remember, the apron skirt was really big on me. So, even after I downsized it a bit, when I wore it to Fanime last year, I still had some issues with it, but this time I fixed it to where it fits. I made it part of the shorts. So now it's all one piece, except the front, I have it snapped on because I still need to zip up the shorts and I can't have the skirt in the way. So I have it where it snaps on. So now I don't have to worry about the skirt being loose or anything because it's attached to the shorts. So it is now fixed and it's not a problem anymore. So I'm thankful for that and I can't wait to wear her after fixing her up and everything. So, and then San, I worked on a lot in the past few weeks. I got the fabric for the wolf skin and I got stuff for the mask and the ears. And so I finally was able to work on that cosplay and for the other parts I had fabric that I was going to use for another cosplay, but I decided to use it for San because I'm not going to be doing this other cosplay for who knows how long. So I figured I can just get more of that fabric if when I ever do this other cosplay. So I took the fabric and used it for the tunic for San. And then the dress is my old Kiki dress because I got a new one for Kiki that's better in my opinion because it's more her style. It's not like tight like my old dress was. This one's more flowing and it's more, it works better with Kiki. So I used my old dress for San. And I altered that for San. And so that was that. And then I made the wolf skin and the mask and everything. And that was a lot of fun to do. And so now I get to wear her this weekend. And I'm excited. Now for SAC anime, I've had to make a lot of changes to my lineup. Um, I had to add on a fifth cosplay because there was a guest I did not know was going to be there. But when I found out he was going to be there, I was like, I have to throw this cosplay of mine in because if I don't, I'll regret it. And I'm glad I did this cosplay for Fanime because now I have it for Zack Anime, which now I'm apparently bringing. So without further ado, I will give you my Zack Anime lineup. First off, we have Judy Hopps from Zootopia in the cop outfit. I'll be wearing that Friday with my Zootopia group, and I'm so excited to do this group. And we will be at the Disney gathering, and I'm just really excited because I love Zootopia, as you guys know. And then Saturday is my biggest day because that's when I'm meeting most of the guests I want to meet. And Saturday I will be Gero from Sergeant Frog because Chris Sabat Sabat, 
however you say his last name, is going to be there, and he voices Gyro, and I'm so excited to meet him because I've been wanting to meet him for so long because he's my favorite frog, and I'm just really excited. And then I'm going to be wearing Chuya from Bungo Stray Dogs. No, not for any guests, sadly, because no Bungo guests that I know of are going to be there. I haven't really checked out the English dub yet of it, so... But yeah, and then I'm going to be wearing Uryu from Bleach because his voice actor is going to be there, and I did not know that until recently, and I'm so glad I looked at the guest list because I didn't know it because I don't know, I don't know how I did not know that the first time. I guess when they announced him, maybe I wasn't into Bleach yet, but they had got him apparently, and that's why I'm bringing Uryu now because he's going to be there, and I'm like, I am excited to meet him, but it's just... I have to bring that cosplay now, which is fine, but it's like, I'm still excited to meet him, though, and I'm so glad I looked at the guest list. Second, and he gets a lot of guests, which is why I have to go through them from time to time to make sure I didn't miss anyone, and I'm so glad because I would have missed him if I didn't know, and I would have been mad at myself if... You know, I knew he was there, and I didn't have my Uryu cosplay on me, so. Anyway, so that's Saturday, and then Sunday, I'm going to be Reno from Final Fantasy VII, both for the gathering and to meet Quentin Flynn, who I'm super excited to meet. I did not get to meet him. I did not get to meet him the last SAC anime he was at. I don't think I did, but I'm so glad I get to meet him this time, and as Reno, as you guys know of my recent obsession with Reno. And everything so I'm really excited to wear Reno finally I've had the cosplay done for a while just I haven't been able to wear it yet so I'm excited to wear it Zach and meet Quentin and everything so I'm just really excited for this weekend I mean for yeah this weekend and for Zach anime so I'm just you know nervous excited and everything like that so anyways other than that there's not much else event wise going on there is a friend's birthday coming up I think next weekend and I hope to go to that with a friend possibly so that'll be fun and then there's also an event coming up at the end of September um, it's a cosplay event one of my friends is planning she mentioned it like a few weeks ago or something I don't remember when she brought it up but it was a while ago and it's gonna be at Delasso Farms which is kind of close by to here so I'm hoping to go to that, and I think it's a free event, so it's just for cosplayers to hang out and get photos, and I think there's a costume contest too and everything, so I'm excited for that. I'm not quite sure what I'm wearing. I know I'm probably definitely going to wear Merida for one of the two days, and then I'm not sure. I might do Sheeta from Laputa or Kiki the other day. It depends. Um, depends on if I can get my hair re-dyed and then bangs cut for Sheeta because I've been wanting to cosplay Sheeta for a while, so. And yeah, um, so speaking of Merida and speaking of the princesses, the new trailer for Wreck-It Ralph came out recently and it revealed all the princesses in casual modern day outfits and I was really excited when I saw them. And it also showed Merida, and I have fallen in love with the outfit since then. And I've already got her shirt done, I just need the button-up plaid shirt. And then that will be a finished cosplay. And I plan to wear that to the movie, as well as Sack Anime Winter. And I've been, like, debating on my Sack Winter plans, but hopefully the closer the con gets, the more sure I am of my plans. I'm not going to be talking about about those yet because I don't know if I'm going to be changing them. I think I know what I want to do for my lineup for Sack Winter, but I will talk about that when I'm likely sure of what I want it to be. Anyway, so that's all for this video, and I will see you guys. I might do another vlog before Sack, maybe when I'm working on stuff and I might like show progress on stuff or whatever like I did past few years or whatever. But yeah, so until then, I will see you guys. Bye!